Welcome to VBAR 101. Today I'm going to go through and look at the control panel. Uh, the control panel is driven by power from the VBAR, so I like it because I can have it in my field box and, and tweak my VBAR. Uh, I don't have to bring a computer that needs charging or uh, anything. I have everything with me when I bring this one. It has one scroller uh, for selecting menus and one button. Uh, in the back here we have a uh, SD memory card. Uh, many have problem getting this in and out. You have the perfect tool with you. That's the cable. So you just plop, pop it like that and you can download the latest software and then when you press it in it's important that it clicks. So use the same and then click. And then you can load the software uh, from it. Uh, let's hook up you should use the port on the same side as the sensor. You should look at the direction, black going outwards uh, on this one. So I'll plug it in and then power up my VBAR. The first thing you see on the screen here is its initialization. And then you see the version of uh, which software and also the version of the firmware in the VBAR. So I'm using the Pro software here. Now the menus are uh, a bit uh, can seem strange here, but it's actually uh, you have all the express parameters under the V. Then we have radio settings, and then we have you can call it the expert settings for the helicopter, expert tail settings, and then we have file. Um, where we can load files. So if we go into the express, press the button, we have swash gain, uh, it's the main swash gain. Then we have something that is uh, badly translated and that's everything that refers to TS is actually swash. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry about that. Uh, TS is the German, a short for German word of swash plate and they have forgot to translate that one. So everything that says TS meaning it's not meaning tail server or anything it's it's the swash plate so swash plate agility then we have the style basically you have all the functions that you have in the uh, main program so tail rate tail gain auto trim enabled uh, the values of the auto trim the bars you can see in the main program and the status and we can load a basic setup but I don't want to do that on this one uh, under TX it's basically the setup things where you have single channel uh, spectrum um, you can bind you can change channels around I would prefer doing this on my computer instead where I can really get an overview then we have the heli setting and as I said it's much like expert and setup for the helicopter you can change sensor orientation rotor rotation it's a st setup steps basically and again I would not change this here I would use the computer for setting up my helicopter from from the beginning going through the each step but you can change it here then we have uh, all the channels uh, stuff like that but we have clear trim and that's something you might want to use in the field because um, to clear out the trim values if you if you feel you got a bad trim. Uh, also you can turn on and off the optimizer and you can also edit the optimizer values if it's off. Uh, if you want to try the optimizer and then I didn't feel good I want to go back then you can edit uh, edit the values. TS exponential again TS meaning swash plate so it's a expo for the swash plate pre for elevator and pitch pump. So we have all these expert settings and if we go back we can go to the tail and then we have the ex setup and expert settings for the tail as well. We have servo type, limit AB, tail reverse, tail optimizer on off uh, and then the values for the optimizers, uh, expo. Then we have the P gain proportional and integral gain differential uh, actually not 
used should be read zero. Uh, I don't know why they didn't bring it out because it's not in the program. Uh, I even think it's not in the control loop even. I, I could be wrong there. Acceleration and stop gain AB. I discharge this is if you have set the um, simulate for one or, or rate mode. TC collective uh, tail pre comp uh, tail compensation for the collective and the cyclic. So that's all the settings we have there. Then uh, the last menu item where you can um, um, the uh, file setting where you can save a setup, load a setup, copy current bank, actually um, the bank selection where you can copy one setup for another bank and also select software. So if you have software on this SD card it will read it and I can just choose which software I'm gonna load and then when I reboot it will load that one. So this is, was a quick brief uh, just overview of the control panel. Um, as for if you understand the PC software, the structure of this is the same. It's, well, except for some translation, uh, it's fairly the same name, so you should be able to figure it out. Uh, if you have any specific question, just shoot me a PM uh, over there forums and I will uh, help you with it.